So today we're doing a view on the Breville Diecast Smart Toaster. This is the model BTA X40XL. The only difference is on some of the size of the slots and the number of slots. Anyway, let's take a look at it. I've had this for about almost two months now and I've used it pretty much every day for not just toast but for other items. And as you can see there are the simple buttons that are on it. You have toast, lip, bagel, frozen, and a bit more. You have the same settings, one for each side. Down below, you have your number slides for the amount of level of darkness that you want for um, the toast or bagels, whatever you may be doing. And when you go to activate it, if you notice, when the light comes on and it goes down, it locks, and then you have an LED system that starts counting down as the toast gets toasted. So you can actually walk by it and know when the toast is going to be getting ready to come up versus not having a clue. And also, if you noticed, the grill is actually closed. So if you push it and temporarily open it, the grill will open up, comes up, and then it will go back down again. That's called the lift and look feature. What that allows you to do is take a look and see if the toast is where you want it. And if you wanted to take it out, you just hit cancel and then the toaster will shut off. So if you press this one time, it'll bring the guards up. The light comes on. Now, if you don't do anything with the light, it will turn itself off. If you say, you know what, I really want to do a little more, push it again, it'll continue on the process. And it will restart the cycling down below. But not where we started. So anyway, you have to lift and look, cancel, and what I've toasted with this so far is frozen bread and it cooks perfectly. And even though when you look inside, I'm activated here, even though when you look inside, it looks like the heating elements are not evenly working. It seems like one side is actually more than the other side. But even though it may look that way, it does not come out that way. This toaster is the only toaster I've ever had that perfectly seems to toast each side. Not too dark, not too light. So if you notice here, there's very little. Here, there's much more. And then obviously you're seeing the icon right here that shows the picture of the outside and the inside. So when you're doing a bagel, you hit the bagel button. It actually changes the heating elements and the way that it drives the elements. So that way you don't burn the bagel, but it cooks the inside also more than the outside. So that way you get that even crispness all the way through. And that's a really neat feature. And as long as the toaster hasn't turned off and the toast is in there, you can press a bit more button. And then that'll toast it for a little bit longer than normal. And you can hit that. As long as it hasn't turned off, it'll do a little bit more, which is just a, maybe I think it's around like maybe five or 10 seconds, not a lot. But this toaster is extremely fast. It does not take very long for this toast to come out. So we're going to go ahead and pop a piece of toast in. You can actually see what it does. So hold on. Okay. So what I found for toast, this is just a personal preference. We leave the sliders set at about two and a half, and they are LED sliders. Very infinite system. So it's not just one, two, three, four, five. There are multiple settings in between, and they're all controlled by the LEDs. So we leave this side for English muffins, and this side so we don't have to change it for toast. So we can just pop it in. But it only takes a second just to slide it up or down. And the moment you touch it, the whole toaster activates and comes on. So, we're going to go ahead and pop these in, and let's see what we see. Alrighty, so we're back. It's almost done. And the toaster's going to beep also. And you can see the LED counting down from 2 to 1, 2 to 1. So now it's going to pop up here. The lift lock the light just came out, saying, saying you can't lift it in these last few seconds because it's pretty much ready to be done anyway. Here comes toast. 
If you notice, each side is perfectly brown. I have not had one piece yet. Now, let's say I want a little more. I could just hit this button right now. I'm going to drop it down, and you can actually see the timer again restart. But I'm actually going to eat this toast. So, let's press. Oh, here. I'll show you the lift look feature. So if you wanted to check it, you could say, yeah, I'm going to let it go in there a little bit more. The nicest thing about it also is that there's almost no crumbs anymore. Most of the crumbs were coming from when you take a standard toaster and you push it down, and that's where you get all the crumbs and when it would pop up. Since you're not pushing this one down, it's not popping up, it's going with a silent motor, you have almost no crumbs that actually collect in that tray. So, anyway, look at that. Money well spent. They are expensive, however, it's an extremely nice item. It's the best toaster that I have ever come across. So, hope you enjoyed this review, and uh, hope you guys go ahead and decide to get yourself a nice toaster. Thanks.